Hello and welcome to News Across Nigeria, where we bring you news from the six geopolitical zones of the country, the 36 states of the Federation. Thank you for joining us. I'm Alumide Mokoli. We begin with a story, however, that uh, plays up the importance of Nigeria in the region of West Africa. ECOWAS leaders have continued to pile more pressure on the military government in Burkina Faso to hand over to the interim civilian administration. Nigeria's Vice President Yemi Oshibajo is among the six heads of state expected in Ouagadougou to oversee the handover process. President Muhammadu Buhari, who was to lead the delegation, would not be attending. The African Union and ECOWAS leaders had given a deadline to the military leadership in Burkina Faso to relinquish power or face stiff penalties. That ultimatum expired last night. They also demanded the presidential guard to disarm. And also they demanded the rest of the army not to use force in order to avoid loss of human uh, lives. They have decided to dispatch tomorrow a high committee composed by head of states of six ECOWAS member states to go to Ouagadougou to reinstall President Michel Kafando in his capacity as president of a transition and to convey a solidarity message of ECOWAS to the Burkinabe people. They have decided to deploy military and humanitarian observers in order to monitor the respect of human rights in Burkina Faso. Now, this story occurred in the southwestern part of the country. The president has directed the inspector general of police and other security agencies to take all necessary action to ensure the safe and speedy rescue of the former secretary to the government of the federation, Chief Olufalai. Chief Olufalai was abducted from his farm on Monday by suspected Fulani herdsmen who are demanding 100 million naira ransom for his release. A statement by the presidency says that he condemns the callous and reprehensible kidnapping of Chief Olu Falai. President Buhari is assuring the Falai family, friends, and other concerned Nigerians that the federal government will do all within its power to ensure his swift release. And states and local government administrations across the country got a total of 150 billion naira for the month of August. Addressing journalists after the FAC meeting in Abuja, the Permanent Secretary at the Ministry of Finance, Mrs. Anastasia Nwabiala, said a total of 168 billion naira was dispersed to the federal government, while 85 billion naira went to the states and 65 billion naira was allocated to the local government. A total of 442 billion naira has been dispersed in all for the month of August. She also said that gross revenue received for the month fell by 64 billion naira owing to the drop in the price of crude oil and a shut of production for repairs. Governor Ifai Okowa of Delta State has challenged political appointees to be more resourceful to ensure wealth for the people. He made the call in Asaba during the swearing-in ceremony of 13 commissioners and three special advisors. From the south-south to the southwest, the Lagos State Governor, Mr. Akim Miyambodi, has inaugurated the governing councils of state tertiary institutions. They include the Lagos State University, the Lagos State Polytechnic, the Adeniro Ogunsoya College of Education, the Michael Otedola College of Primary Education, and the Lagos State College of Health Technology. Governor Ambode charged members of the boards to help reposition the institutions as foremost citadels of learning, urging them to see their appointments as a challenge to restore the lost glory of the schools. Tertiary institutions are critical in achieving economic prosperity because they provide the relevant skilled human capital and policy research outcomes for development. In pursuit of this laudable objective, government has carefully selected and empaneled a galaxy of diverse professionals 
from the ac academia, public and private sectors with impressive credentials to manage the affairs of our tertiary institutions with a view to repositioning them for greater achievements and rating amongst other institutions of higher learning nationally and internationally. The quality of leadership of the governing councils inspires confidence that the potentials of the institutions and their ability to rise up to the challenges of development will be unleashed. Since the inception of this administration, government has been inundated with the multifaceted problems and challenges plaguing tertiary institutions in the state. Lamentations have never and will not solve these problems. Taking concrete steps with the right people driving the process is the only way these seemingly tough challenges can be surmounted. Therefore, our distinguished council members, your appointment and inauguration is a challenge and a call to duty as part of the process of bringing back the lost glory of our tertiary institutions by instilling discipline, integrity, accountability, and responsibility in their affairs. As governing councils, you must be focused on the formulation of policies and programs that will reposition these institutions to achieve their mandates of quality teaching, research, and community relevance and service. Your mandate is to ensure that relevant and appropriate measures are put in place for smooth and harmonious working relationship in the institutions. Governor of Lagos State, Akiomi Ambode, while the Lagos State government was paying attention to the education sector, the civil service in Nondo State are protesting over unpaid salaries. Please stay with us.